Hey everybody, in this video I wanted to talk a little bit about how to use an NPN transistor as a small relay. Uh, there's going to be a few limitations. The number one limitation is current draw. Uh, with a transistor relay, you're only going to be able to have about 200 milliamps. I was able to push it to 250 milliamps of current between uh, emitter and collector. Uh, but anything more than that, you would want to use a dedicated uh, either a solid state relay or a mechanical based relay. But for this example, it's just a show you how to use a transistor, basic NPN transistor that you can find anywhere as a relay. So let's get started. So before I get started with the, the actual physical circuit, I'm just going to draw a, a diagram of what I'm going to be doing first of all. So I'm going to be um, I'm going to be using two voltage sources. Uh, one, I'm going to be driving a set of LEDs, so I'm going to be using plus 12 volts for my LED series, and this is going to be negative or ground here. So this is my supply one. Write that somewhere where you can see it. Uh, this will be supply number one here. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be connecting my LEDs here to an NPN transistor. Sorry about that. There we go. So what I'm going to be having here, I'm going to be having. I'm just going to draw it like this again. So we'll have our NPN transistor. This is an NPN. So what's going to happen is I'm going to have my LED strip here. Uh, we'll just draw. This will be my strip of LEDs here. There's going to be like a, quite a bit of them. But I'm going to attach the positive side of my LED to the 12 volt rail here. And I'm gonna attach the negative side of the LED to this uh, emitter pin here. And the collector is gonna go to ground. Um, notice I don't have any resistors here for the LED. The particular strip of LEDs I'm using actually has built-in resistors, so that, that's not an issue right now. So that's basically uh, our supply there, supply one. Uh, supply 2 is basically, I'm going to have the base of this LED, or sorry, this transistor here. This is the base, so it's not connected here. I'm going to have the base of this, and this is going to be supply 2 over here. And so on supply 2, I have a 3.5 volt battery, so a positive 3.5 volt, and of course ground for this battery. And all that's going to be doing is I'm going to connect a resistor, should be about 10k, or you can use any resistor. I'm going to connect that resistor to the base of that transistor, and this side of the resistor I'm going to connect it to, to 3.5 volts there. And then one thing that you have to remember though is connect both these ground rails. So this ground rail here from my first supply is going to be connected to ground of my second supply. So this part here, supply two, is 3.5 volts. We're going to be using from just a, a coin cell or like a small coin cell battery. And this right here too, the supply one is actually coming from my 12 volt source. So let's uh, see how this circuit works practically. So there's the basic setup there. So I have uh, one side of the transistor going to the negative supply. The positive just goes into the positive side of the LED and the negative side of the LED just goes into the emitter of the uh, transistor. Now this is basically using a transistor as a switch if we just have 
this base touch the positive side here, it turns on the LEDs. But since we want to use it as a relay, we'll get our battery here, just our coin cell battery. And it's only 3 volts, so it, uh, it can't power those uh, LEDs, obviously. So all we got to do here is put the positive side onto the resistor here. And then to complete the circuit, we just attach the negative side back to ground. And there we go. Using a resistor, or sorry, using a transistor as a relay.